uh, when they proclaim themselves the United States of America uh, as free and independent states. Uh, they were assuming that by that act, almost magically they were conjuring into existence 13 new states and it's noticeable that that very name, United States of America, was a plural term until after the Civil War. Uh, it's only after the Civil War that United States of America becomes a singular, united, unified uh, group. But the assumption of the Declaration was that now 13 free and independent states, that is 13 political bodies, had been created which could, as the Declaration says, do all things which other free and independent states may of right do, to enter into treaties, to declare war, to make peace, uh, to engage in commerce. This was a legal document, and we might call it, in fact, an international legal document, a document of international law proclaiming the existence of new states among other states in the international realm. What it did not do at the time was to proclaim the existence of a nation, a self-identifying, historically unique uh, people with a common history. Uh, the word American and Americans is never used in the Declaration itself. Uh, the colonies were still uh, remarkably divided on many fundamental issues and fundamental interests and fundamental identities, even as late as July 1776. And most historians, I think, would now agree that the formation of an American nation uh, only happened some years after, or in a process some years after the Declaration of Independence itself, not least being forged through the experience of the war that carried on after the Declaration of Independence, that the creation of a common identity took much longer, uh, perhaps going into the early 19th century, that wasn't one common American identity which led to a Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence, by making the states which would be, as it were, the political containers that would bring together different people in uh, the, uh, the former American colonies, began the process of creating a nation, a self-conscious, self-identifying group, but that certainly was not in existence in July 1776.